Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom blur effect transition using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got two video clips which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put links to those in the YouTube description. Let's open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and drag and drop the video clips onto the timeline. And we've got one of this fire and then we switch over to water and I want to do like a custom blur transition between them. Let's click on the first clip, go to the effects control panel here and then go to sharpness and <clears throat> we want to go to the end of this video clip and at the end of the video clip is exactly 10 seconds so we want to go back two seconds basically uh, so let's uh, let's actually in fact let's go back one second so that will be on nine seconds here so we want to see nine seconds here and nine here inside of the effects sharpness the artistic blur we would just want to move that forward a little bit yeah? and when, when you move it forward and move it backwards it allows you to add a keyframe so we're going to add a keyframe here and then we're going to go to the end of the video clip and we're going to set the artistic blur all the way to the top and you can blur it horizontal you can blur it vertical or you can blur it both horizontal and vertical so i think vertical looks pretty cool let's see how that actually looks so let's go back and we see it sort of blur out like this right like this okay so let's move to the second video clip and we're going to do the same logic but we want to do that at the beginning of the clip so let's move to the beginning of the clip we'll add a keyframe here and really what we need to do is move the artistic blur so move it forward and then move it back then you can add the keyframe and let's set that all the way up to the top value and we'll turn off the horizontal so that's vertically blurred as well and then we want to go forward one second so let's go forward one second one second here then we add another keyframe and we'll set the blur to zero value and then let's set this to um, curved here we can set it as a curved uh, transition and then we'll do the same on this one as well so if we go back here click play we should see the blur effect we've got audio in here so I'm just going to drag these down so we can mute the audio and here we can see the blur so now we just need to overlap the clips so let's drag them and overlap them so we're at 10 seconds so if we overlap uh, at 9 so it should say about a 1 second overlap then we'll see the blur transition like this so I think that's a nice blur transition it's a custom one you can't really find that particular transition um, in the preset tools or using this technique at least you've got more control over it right so it's about learning how to control the blur and then you can go and click on this clip you can easily turn it from vertical to horizontal click on this one turn it from vertical to horizontal and if we go back and click play then our blur transition will be horizontal so it's quite easy to now uh, experiment with this particular transition and create your own style and your own effects and you can change the duration you can do all sorts of things now if you've got definitive control over it using the tools here let's save this work Let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.